Good morning everyone. This video is for the students of class 7th subject English. In this video, we shall understand our lesson number 10 that is voice from our PC Dance grammar book. And this is my lecture number 1. In this video, we shall discuss meaning of voice and rules. So basically, there are two types of voice, active and passive voice. If I say, the cat drank the milk, this sentence is an active voice. Okay, and if I say, the milk was drunk, this sentence is an passive voice. Okay, what is the difference? How we will identify that whether a sentence is an active voice or passive voice, just see. See, as I have already told you, voice is divided into two types, active voice and passive voice. Now, consider the following sentences. If I say the cat drank the milk and if I say the milk was drunk by the cat, there is practically no difference in the meaning of the above two sentences. There are two different ways of presenting the same thing okay the meaning of the first sentence and the meaning of the second sentence is same there is no difference but in the first sentence that is the cat drank the milk in the first sentence the subject that is the cat performs the action whereas in the second sentence that is the milk was drunk by the cat Okay, in this second sentence, the subject of the verb is acted upon. Okay, so basically the meaning is same. Just the difference is that who is performing the action and to whom the subject of verb is acted upon. Okay, it means the subject of first sentence becomes the object of verb of the second sentence. So basically the voice shows whether subject performs the action or subject receives the action. Active voice when the subject of verb acts, if the subject is performing the action, then the verb is said to be active voice. For example, Hari made a mistake. In this sentence, Hari is the subject who is performing the function. And if I say Lata is singing a song, then in this sentence Lata is the subject who is singing. Okay, so Lata is performing action. So these two sentences are active voice. Okay. So that was active voice. Now what is passive voice? When the subject of verb receives the action. The verb is said to be in passive voice. In this, the subject of active voice becomes the object of passive voice. And the object of active voice becomes the subject of passive voice. For example, a mistake was made by Hari. If I say Hari made a mistake, then that is an active voice. But Hari was subject in active voice. In passive voice, I have made hurry as an object. He is receiving the action. So, this is passive voice. Okay. For example, see another. A song is being sung by Lata. If I say Lata sings a song, Lata is singing a song, then Lata is subject in active voice. But to make it a passive voice, I have made Lata object she is receiving the action okay so these two sentences are passive voice okay now how to change active voice into passive voice okay so see the first sentence that is the dog chased the cat in this sentence this is an active voice okay the dog the dog is subject okay Chased is verb and the cat is object. Now when I will convert active voice to passive voice. Okay, when I will convert active to passive voice. Basically what is the difference between active and passive voice? 
active voice emphasis on the doer or performer. Okay, so in this sentence, the doer was the dog. In passive voice, stress is laid on the result or the receiver. Okay, see, first sentence was the dog chased the cat. In this sentence, this is an active voice. When I will change it into passive voice, what I will do, I will make subject object. Okay, subject of active voice will become object of passive voice. And object of active voice will become subject of passive voice. This is the first rule that you have to keep in your mind. That subject of active voice will become object. And object of active voice will become subject in passive voice. And there will be change in verbs according to rules. And one more thing you have to keep in mind that when you will make subject object, okay, when you will make subject of active voice object of passive voice, then before writing object, okay, write by. Clear? See, with the help of these steps, you will able to understand better. See, the first step to change the voice is subject of active voice becomes the object of passive voice. Okay, what happens when in an active voice, whatever the subject is there, subject of active voice will become object of passive voice. Okay, the second rule is object of active voice will become the subject of passive voice. Okay, for example, Hari sings a song. A song is sung by Hari. Okay, tense rule will be changed according to the rule. Tenses or verbs will change according to the rules. Just remember that subject of active voice will become object of passive voice and object of active voice will become subject of passive voice. Next thing that you have to keep in your mind is form of B. B forms of B is added in passive voice. What are forms of B? ISMR, present tense, was were, past tense, being continuous and being perfect tense. This will be explained to you when I will explain you the tense chart. See, by is added before the object of passive voice. Okay, when you will change subject of active voice to object of passive voice before writing object, write down by, b y by, okay. These are the changes of pronouns, okay. Pronouns will change as this table, okay. Now, these are the changes of pronouns. Pronouns will be changed according to this table. See, if subject is I, in passive voice, when I will make the subject object, it will become me. We will change into us. You will be changed into you. You will remain same. He will be changed into him. She will be changed into her. It will remain same it. And they will change into them. Okay. So you have to learn this table. Now, after adding by and making necessary changes in pronouns. Next thing that you have to keep in your mind is past participle form of verb is used after the form of be. Okay, basically keep this thing in your mind that in passive voice we always use verb third form. Okay, in passive voice only verb third form of verb is used. See sixth point, tense of verb is not changed, only its form is changed. That is Tense of verb remains the same. Okay. Vague subjects like someone, somebody, everybody, everyone, people, etc. are dropped in passive voice form. For example, if I say someone broke the window, then when I will convert it into passive voice, then first of all, the window that is object in active voice, that will become subject in passive voice, the window. Okay was broken okay was is the form of be okay broke that is according to tense that will be taught to you later on just remember that first of all i have changed object into subject then i have used third form of verb that is broken and 
the subjects like someone somebody everybody everyone they can be dropped okay so i have not written by someone i have just left the sentence the window was broken now it is itself understood to the reader that it was broken by someone you need not to write such subjects okay now here comes the tense chart for changing auxiliary verbs okay see if active voice is in present tense and there is do or does then in passive voice it will change into is am are if in active voice there is present continuous tense that is is am are it will change into am being is being are being means basically in passive voice we add being b e i n g okay if active voice is in present perfect tense that means if has or have is used then in passive voice along with has and have we will use been b e e e n if active voice is in simple past that means did then that will change into was were in passive voice if active voice is in past continuous tense that means was were and v1 plus ing then in passive voice we will add being b e i n g okay was being were being was being for singular were being for plural now if active voice is in past perfect tense that means had plus v3 okay that will change into had been in passive voice we will add been b double e n form of b if active voice is in simple future that means will and shall is used then while changing it into passive voice it will be will be or shall be and if active voice have modal auxiliaries then along with modal auxiliaries in passive voice we will add be okay like can be must be now i hope this tense chart is clear see in active voice we have generally used all the rules of tense in simple present do does present continuous is am are present perfect has have simple past did past continuous was were past perfect had simple future will shall and in models we have just used can must okay so this it is very easy to learn the tense chart for active voice because it is same as tense chart normal tense chart and in passive voice there are changes like do does will change into is am are is am are will change into is am are plus being has have will change into has have plus been did will change into was were was were will change into was were plus being had will change into had been will and shall will change into will be shall be and modal auxiliary will change into can be must be okay so i hope this is clear now all main verb forms are changed to third form of verb that is past participle this thing i have already told you that in passive voice we always use third form of verb okay we always use third form of verb or we can say past participle for this you have to learn your three forms of verbs okay now just have a look on this table this is a short explanation i hope you will understand better see this table is for active voice and this table is for passive voice in active voice the formation is subject plus auxiliary verb plus main verb and object okay when i will change active voice into passive voice okay what will happen subject will become object okay subject of active voice will become object of passive voice and before object we will add by object of active voice will become subject of passive voice okay object will become subject subject will become object now auxiliary verbs rules for auxiliary verbs i have already told along with that either you will add being or you will add been or you will write form of be okay and main verb you have to keep in your mind that in passive voice we always use third form of verb okay now 
See the examples. The first sentence is Swati eats apple. This sentence is active voice. Why? Because Swati is performing the action. Okay. So stress is given on subject, on the doer. Now when I will change it into passive voice, my subject that is Swati, it will become object in passive voice. And before object, I will add by in passive voice. Then apple, object in active voice will become subject in passive voice. Okay. Eat, this is simple present tense. Eat, in simple present tense, in passive voice, we use ismr plus verb third form. So, apple, apple is singular. That's why I have used is with it. Apple is. What is third form of eat? Eaten. Apple is eaten by Swati. Clear? See the another example. Batsman has hit the ball. Batsman is subject. Subject of active voice will become object of passive voice. So, batsman has become object in passive voice. The ball, object in active voice will become subject in passive voice. Ball has hit. This is Present perfect tense. In present perfect tense and in passive voice, the rule is has have plus been. So, ball is singular. That's why has. Ball has been hit. Third form of hit is hit. Hit by the batsman. I hope it is clear to you now. So, your homework is you have to revise voice through the video itself. And then you have to learn all the rules of voice. These rules are not given in your books. So kindly watch the video twice. Thank you students. I hope you understood the concept. If you are liking our videos then kindly subscribe our channel and like the videos.